Today, I'm thrilled to share a game-changing framework that helped a medical clinic in Los Angeles area increase their new customers by whooping 191% in just six months. This success story is a result of over five years of experience running campaigns for small businesses in the LA area and a bit over a year building generative AI solutions for small businesses. But what makes this client special is that this is my first time working with a clinical practice. I'll show you exactly how I achieve these remarkable results and how you can replicate them for your clinic or healthcare business. At the heart of our approach is a simple yet powerful funnel. We start by creating a website optimized for SEO, ensuring it ranks high in search engine. Did you know that the top three search engine rankings receive over 60% of all clicks? But often, a ranking for the top three in just general search is quite hard because you're competing with companies like HubSpot that spend like millions of dollars a month on SEO. What we do instead is we focus on a local SEO, which is a perfect for small local businesses like this medical clinic. In fact, 46% of all Google searchers are seeking local information. And 44% of patients schedule an appointment after finding healthcare providers through a mobile search. But how prevalent mobile search among different generations? Hmm? Well, what's surprising is that 80% of Gen Z's use mobile search primarily, 62% of millennials, and 66% of Gen X's primarily use mobile search. That's why we prioritize technical optimization for speed because mobiles are not as fast as desktops. And also we wanna make sure that we provide high quality content that is very localized to that particular individual. If we are optimizing a website for a clinic in Los Angeles area, we're creating a highly localized content for that provider. Also, what we do is create local links to all the businesses around us, different the business directories, and there are like probably 50 different things we do in order to make sure that when it comes to local SEO search, we dominate the area about 20, 30 miles around the business. And I think for area such as Los Angeles, that covers at least a million people, which is good enough for any small business, all right? So basically within 20, 30 miles, if you look up psychiatric mental health clinic, will be probably the top three last time i checked anyhow let's move on after we create a website creating content and links with the local businesses the next step is start generating traffic using google ads in fact a study by wordstream found that businesses that use google ads see an average roi of 200 percent but here's the key we don't just stop at traffic generation that's why we prioritize technical optimizations for speed since 50 percent of consumers expect a website to load in three seconds or less. We have websites in our portfolio built on WordPress, but lately we have been using Webflow more and more due to the ease of use and the high speed of loading on any platform. I believe we are about one to two seconds for all of our websites. We have tried creating generative AI content for the blog, but after a few tries, um, the posts were just super vanilla and we realized that it's still easier to just hire a psychology graduate to write the content instead of generating content with GPT-4 and after that sit there and try to edit it for hours. And it worked out pretty well. Why loading speeds are very important. According to the Cloudflare, reducing site load time by just 0.85 seconds can increase site conversion by 7%. So for instance, if you're loading at five seconds right now, you could check it out really quick, gtmetrics.com, very cool website. Anyhow, so if your site is loading at five seconds and your competitor uh, website loading at two seconds, the probability that they conversion is higher than yours by 21% is pretty high. All right, so it's 21%. So for instance, out of 100 clients, you're not gonna see 21. Um, I'm not sure that the math is exact, but it's, it's somewhere in the ballpark. Second, we focus on conversion using strategically placed website forms and a chatbot built on the WordPress platform to initiate interactions with users at the right moments and basically convert them into our future customers. What is also very interesting is that in the recent survey, 34% of customers said that they're very comfortable speaking with artificial intelligence when it comes to online retail. According to another study by HubSpot, businesses that use chatbots usually see about 13 to 24% increase in conversions. And this is also holds true for the corporate clients as well. 26% of B2B marketers who apply chatbots in their marketing activities saw a 10 to 20% increase in leads. So it appears to be 
very, very similar. In this particular case, we experienced about 15 to 20% increase in leads because of the BotPress AI chatbot. What's also interesting is that 43% of American marketers indicated that chatbot helped educate prospective customers. And that's what exactly what our BotPress chat does. It provides a little bit more information about uh, the clinic, what it does. It helps you to take uh, like a symptom test, figure out if you maybe have some symptoms of ADHD and maybe it is a good idea to give the clinic a call during the working hours and schedule an appointment. To take it to the next level, we also employed a voice agent to handle after hours calls and improve customer service. Did you know that 49% of patients still prefer to schedule appointments over the phone? By using a voice agent, we ensure patients receive a seamless experience even outside of regular business hours. In fact, a study by McKinsey found that companies that prioritize customer experience, which is exactly what voice agents do, see a 10 to 15% increase in revenue. But there is a difficulty in implementation of this AI technologies because in the recent study by IBM, 33% of companies are having difficulty adopting AI into their business practices due to limited skills. But what's truly exciting is that our collaboration with Mental Health Clinic helped us to develop uh, AI scribe application for psychiatry practices, and it's gonna be launched next month. It's it's a fun one. It will basically allows you to create progress notes on psychiatric evaluations while the provider talks to the patient. And uh, basically on the back end, generative AI is creating a perfect note. So this way it reduces the workload on the provider, and also the provider could see way more patients than without it. That Potentially could help with increasing the productivity of every provider and increase revenue and profitability of any clinic. With our new tool launching next month, we're very excited to the fruit of this collaboration. And this shows you that working as a marketing provider for any business doesn't have to just end there. Um, you could also, once you understand the clients really well and the use cases, you could implement something else. And that is very true for generative AI because there are many use cases in generative AI that are not particularly great for marketing, but they could be great for some sort of process within the business that you could stumble upon while you're working with the business on basically marketing part. So the results speak for themselves. Our clinic has seen a consistent increase in revenue over the past six months with no signs of slowing down. By implementing our funnels, they saw a 69% increase in website traffic and 191% increase in total new leads. These results aren't isolated as we've used a modified version of this funnel for other local businesses and this client helped us refine it for the medical clinic. So what did you think? If you learned something new or interesting, give this video a like. If you have a better way to increase traffic, conversions, or use generative AI in getting more clients, I want to hear from you in the comments below. Let's continue the conversation and shape the future of AI healthcare marketing together. Peace.